Hey, so it is the 21st of December um, and um, I just had an email through from um, Kristen Thornton at Yummy Jobs. Um, basically this vlog is going to be kind of, it's a bit of a repeat of that remarkably long vlog that I did last time um, that lasted for four vlog pages. I cannot believe that, that was unreal. But, um, but yeah, so I'm just kind of summarising that because um, Kristen Thornton has sent through an email with um, with like the highlights of uh, what went on in the the WebEx conversation, um, plus a few of the details that are summarised. So um, if you don't have time to listen to all four of the um, previous vlogs, then just listen to this one. Um, so the email says greetings. They always says greetings. Um, many thanks for taking your time, the time for your job offer information web session and once again congratulations on being offered a role at Walt Disney World for the summer 2011. I hope you are very excited for the adventure you are able to take to Walt Disney World. As mentioned during our call, here is the information that we went over so you are able to review it and if you have any questions at any time please do contact Yummy Jobs. For your programme, your main contact will be Hannah, which is Hannah, Hannah London and she will be assisting you to ensure a smooth process for a great summer. But in the meantime, here are the main highlights for, for your program. I wonder if, can you, I wonder if you can hear my stomach rumbling. Anyway, um, so the arrival date. Your arrival date is the date you will want to arrive in Florida and is the day your housing will be ready. If you do decide to arrive earlier than that date, you will need to provide your own accommodation. Um, however, you will not be starting work on your arrival, so please do not feel you need to arrive earlier which um, I know at least one person who is going to be arriving two days earlier. I'm not sure if you realised um, that we wouldn't be allowed to move in until our actual programme start date. Um, and so I think he's looking into like hotels and what to do on those two days prior to the programme, um, especially if he remembers that most of the people that are on the same programme as him won't be there. Um, I mean, some people will be arriving um, for an earlier program start date, so perhaps he'll be able to hook up with them, but um, but I don't know, it's going to take some planning. Anyway, um, so instead, when you arrive, you'll have that first day to check into your program and department, get used to the Florida weather, meet your new roommates and meet all the other people around the world arriving to Disney with you. Um, you would then start orientation the following day. For the orientation you will need to wear professional attire and this can be what you wore to the interviews so do pack at least one outfit for one professional outfit for Florida so that's like in keeping with the Disney look you know no excess of makeup like keep a, a plain like clean hairstyle um, no uber short skirts or remarkably breasty cleavage showing um, at tops which uh, when you're blessed with um the breasts that I've got, it might be a bit difficult, but um, I'll just find something with a neck that comes up to here. Um, anyway, then it says end date. This is the day you will need to check out of your housing. You do have 30 days to travel after this date, and there will be many students around the world who I'm sure would love to have you as a travel buddy. So I'm getting excited about travelling afterwards, let me tell you that. Um, and the step-by-step -step guide, um, to assist you in the adventure to Florida, Yummy Jobs has put together a step-by-step -step guide that will answer many questions such as about visas, background checks and everything in between. To access this document, you are now able to log on to your profile on www.yummyjobs.com and view the documents tab. Please be sure to read the guide for your country as the other countries will vary in information. It says visas. Walt Disney World is currently working on these documents for you, which you will have about four to five weeks before your arrival to Florida. Please do note that you will need to wait until you have your visa petition before you are able to make your US Embassy appointment. Program Assessment Fee As mentioned during the interview, you will need to pay the Program Assessment Fee of $100 US before your arrival to Florida. This fee acts as a deposit to reserve your room. You will be receiving an email from Walt Disney World regarding this fee about one month before your arrival to the US. You will not be able to pay this fee until you receive this email. So do keep an eye on your inbox closer to your arrival date. And if at any time you have any questions, please do not hesitate to contact a Yummy Jobs team member. We will be here to assist you every step of the way. 
Have a great day and happy holidays from Kristen Thornton at Yummy Jobs. Um, she's also uh, attached a file to that, which I'm just um, going to download now so I can have a quick, quick mooch at it. Um, yeah, this is the Disney International Programs Program Information Highlights document that um, she will be sending through if you. Uh, are applying in the future or most people will already have received it for this program so um it says position roles cannot be changed after acceptance candidates accepted for character performer or lifeguard will have to pass pass secondary audition testing upon arrival um so yeah if you're going to be a character performer you do still need to audition when you get out there if you don't get that if like you don't pass the audition then at that stage you will need to, um, they will give you something else and you'll need to just take it. And the same goes for lifeguard, obviously there's some um, some different uh, skills checks that they need to do to make sure that you can actually save someone <laughs> um, and that you're not just going out for a, um, a bit of a sunning and a keeping an eye on the ladies in the pool or whatever, um, cheeky cheeky. Um, then it says role and role responsibilities should be carefully reviewed prior to arrival. Now, it, it says that roles cannot be changed after acceptance, but I have the book which I've mentioned before, Mouse Catraz, um, and a lot of people have changed their programmes in the past. Um, I think it's just really, really discouraged. Like, it just creates more work for them, and, and I think that they're kind of under the impression, like, if you enjoy Disney so much, then you will do anything out there, um, any job, uh, any uh, any tasks that you have to complete. Um, there are there are jobs that I know that if I got them then I wouldn't be too chuffed with them but there aren't many that I can imagine I would request a change for um, but perhaps I'll do a vlog on that late, at a later date so programme dates must arrive and depart company sponsored housing on designated programme arrival and departure dates we are not able to accommodate an earlier date due to company sponsored housing or arrange for date to we are not able to accommodate an earlier arrival date to company sponsored housing or arrange for housing past the program end date. Passport. Your passport must be valid for at least 30 days following the program end date. Background check. You must submit a criminal background check as part of the employment process. Background check results must be submitted and to designated Disney contact upon acceptance. So that's the CRB check, which um, I'm not sure if I mentioned before, but I sent off the other day. Um, it need well, yeah. It was like a few days ago, um, because it needed to arrive uh, at Yummy Jobs in time for the twentieth of December. So um, that has hopefully arrived. I haven't heard that how it heard otherwise. Um, and I've also paid the fifty five pound um, background check fee, which um, was made payable on the Yummy Jobs website. Um, so that was a bit of a, an ouchie coming up to Christmas. It was like oh fifty five pounds, but. Um, but I think we all know that this program is going to cost us because costing us some money, so we've just got to deal with it and realise that it's going to be worth it. Um, okay, so then it says Disney congratulations packet. You should receive your packet approximately five weeks after accepting the offer. So I'm due. Well, no, not really. Um, in January I will be due um, my packet. Um, bring professional attire and dress shoes for your first day of work and various other trainings. Um, you must meet Disney look guidelines upon arrival. Then I've got um, medical insurance, must provide own insurance coverage for length of programme and must be purchased prior to programme arrival. So I must bring uh, proof of insurance to the United States um, and if I was on the cultural representative programme, which I'm not, those participants should verify insurance requirements with in-country contact. So that would, would be with Yummy Jobs, I assume. Um, United States Social Security Card. Participants that currently have a United States Social Security Card should bring the, their original card to the USA, which I don't have one because I haven't been, been to work before, so um, I assume that I should be getting one out there, it doesn't mention anything about that. Um, visa. Visa sponsor will send all necessary visa paperwork approximately 45 days prior to arrival. Information regarding the visa process can be found at um, www.usembassy.state.gov. Um, and candidates are responsible for the cost of all fees related to obtaining a visa. Um, another stinger that is. Um, travel arrangements. Must contact our college and international programs office with flight arrival information. Um, I've just opened up another page and it's like covered the other one. 
um, at WDW International Arrival itineraries at Disney.com. Um, include arrival date, time, airline and flight number information. This is very important. Um, participants are responsible for transportation to our welcome centre upon arrival. So I will have to book a taxi or something before before I go or just get in a taxi at the airport um, to take me over to uh, Vista Way to, for check-in. Um, housing. Must live in company-sponsored housing for the duration of the programme. A weekly housing fee is deducted from candidates' pay each week during the programme. Check-out time from company-sponsored housing is 11am on scheduled departure date. Before arriving in Florida, candidates must pay their programme assessment fee of $100 US using a credit card on our website www.disneyurl.com forward slash international PAFs. Don't know what that is. Oh yeah, program assessment fees. Duh. Candidates should print receipt and bring to the US. Um, and then it just gives uh, our in-country contact details. Um, in-country contact, Disney recruiter, then a website, which is just disneyinternationalprograms.com. Um, own questions via email and they can provide an email address and an office phone number. Um, so yeah, that's the information that I've had through so far and um, as and when I get more documents through then I will upload. So um, I hope that's been helpful to anyone who is interested in applying for the programme in the future. Um, it's just highlighted some, some key points for you. So um, yeah, hope to speak soon. Bye.